Hello Year 3. This week's science experiment I thought I had better demonstrate it for you. So this week you're going to be looking at um, how the size of a shadow would change. So you're going to have to have some pieces of equipment. I was hoping that lots of you would have little Lego figures, but if you haven't, don't worry, I have made my own very poor attempt of a little paper doll. So you can use any of those. You're going to need to have either a cotton bud. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can use a matchstick or you can use a chopstick. It's absolutely fine. So with your matchstick or your um, cotton bud, you need to attach your Lego figure to the end of it. I've just put it up his foot. Or if you're using a paper doll, I've just used some masking tape to attach it to the back of my paper doll. You then need to set up your screen. So I have just used a piece of paper and a cardboard box and I have put it at the end of my kitchen table and then I have made a ruler next to it. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have a torch at the end of my piece of paper, so about 30 centimetres away. I think on the instructions I said 50, but I go for about 30 centimetres away. And then I'm going to hold my Lego figure at different lengths away, so maybe five centimetres. Can you see I've circled it? And then at 10 centimetres, and at 15 centimetres, and at 20 centimetres. And I'm gonna see what's gonna happen to my shadow on my back wall as I do it. But I'm gonna to have to measure the size of the shadow. So you might need to have somebody to help you. I have enlisted somebody to help me. And they're gonna to have to mark the size of the shadow when the light is on. So we're just gonna demonstrate one and I'm gonna leave it up to you to find out what happens with the rest of it. So we're gonna turn our torch on. Here we go. I'm gonna put my shadow at, is it 10 centimeters? And then I'm gonna have my truss figure's gonna mark the top. Oh, my light torch has gone off market anyway. And then when the torch goes back on, that's it. You can mark the bottom. And then we will be able to measure the size of the shadow by measuring between those two points using a ruler. Here's my ruler, and I'm gonna be able to measure to see what the size was. Once I've worked it out, I can use the table there to write down my results. And then the question at the bottom is what happens to the size of the shadow as you move the figure? Remember, the torch stays in the same place the whole time. I hope that helps. Bye.